Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Dave Shaves. Today I am doing a video on the Rockwell 6C. I ordered it a few days ago and it came in yesterday and I wanted to do my first try on camera with you guys. So that is this bad boy right here. I got it in gunmetal. So it's a very pretty razor. I like the color, it's, a, it's definitely lighter than the razors I'm used to. To give you an example, this is the Gillette Heritage, so you can see the definitely the differences in color. Now, this razor is what they call an adjustable system razor. It's, it's not your normal adjustable razor in that it doesn't have the typical dial like on my Gillette Slim Adjustable. This is a system because in order to change the size or blade gap, you have to unscrew the bottom. You have to take off the top and this face plate here is interchangeable and they come with different sizes. The, one, the plate here is number one and number three. Also, it comes with plate two and plate four. And plate five and six. So with these, they are interchangeable, and obviously the higher number you go, the more blade gap you get. Now, I usually like a more aggressive setting, but I want to try a little lower because I'm not sure what to expect with this razor. So I'm going to go with a number three. Right in the middle should be pretty good for my beard. I don't have a super lot of growth, only a couple days, but I do have a rather thick and coarse beard. I was considering going with a four, but I decide I'll start with a three and go from there. We'll see what happens. Now, what you do is in order to make sure you're shaving with the right side, the number of the setting you want to use needs to be facing down. So in this case, you have the three. You want to make sure the three is facing down and the, blade, the base plate fits right on top of there. And then you simply screw the handle back on. Now I'm not going to do that yet because I do need to put in a blade. Now with this razor, I'm going to be using products that I'm used to. You all know me, you know that when I try out a new product, I like having myself surrounded by products that I've used before. That way I know how things are gonna react. So I'm gonna be using my Boscot go-to blade on any new razor. Go ahead and open that up real quick. Go ahead and just load that Voscog right in there. Make sure that the number three is facing down. Put the handle right back on. Now it looks like there's a lot of blade exposure here. You can see it, so that's nice. That's pretty good. I'd say a number three is a decent shave, if you can see that. We'll see how it goes though. All right, now with that, I'm going to be using my Viking Revolution Sandalwood Scented Shave Soap Puck, and I'm going to be lathering that up in my Viking's Blade Bowl. I'm going to be using that, with that, I'm going to be using my typical go-to brush, the first brush I ever owned, my old original Badger Hair Brush. Then I'm gonna be finishing that up with some aftershave balm and a splash. The aftershave balm is something I have only used a couple times, but it's a balm, so I'm not super concerned. It's not like it's part of the actual shave. And that is the Sterling Sandalwood Pre-Shave Balm. Plus, I've come to really like this balm. It's very soothing, and I love the scent. Now, after that, I'm gonna be splashing on the splash of the 
Genuina Ogala Bay Rum and Sandalwood Scented Aftershave. Now I do a splash after the balm because that's just the way I do it. I feel like the splash adds a little bit more of the scent and the scent might last a little longer with the splash. So I start with the balm, soothe my skin, and then splash on the splash. Other people do it the other way around, to each their own. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and run some hot water, splash some hot water on my face, and we will start lathering up. go. Re-moisten this brush just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and just start lathering. Now I just go ahead and put the puck right in here and lather from here. Some people load up the brush and then go from there, but I feel I get the best lather when I just leave the puck in there. Now, when I first lather this, it takes a little while for it to get started. Because when I first lather, it's very watery, very soupy, and just a lot of bubbles. So I need to kind of get past that to get to the actual lather. All right. And I like what I like about the Rockwell is that it comes in the different colors. I really like the idea of getting the, uh, the gunmetal because it's a, it's a darker finish from what I'm used to as I showed you. And it's just, it's a nice color. Honestly, also the color, for whatever reason, it reminds me of one of my favorite cars of all time, which is uh, the DeLorean um, from the movie Back to the Future. Obviously my favorite movie of all time. And the color is, now with that, it's just stainless steel, but the gunmetal just reminds me of that vehicle. I don't know why, it just does. So that's why I chose that color. And I think it works. It's very nice. By the way, if anybody knows anybody that owns a DeLorean, it is my dream and on my bucket list to drive one of those cars just once. Just once. So if you know of anybody, let me know. Other than that, I hope everybody is doing well, as I ask in every video. So give me... I'm doing pretty well. I've been on vacation, for lack of a better word, since I left my previous job. And I'm very happy, so... And I start my new job, looks like I'm going to be starting it around the 10th. I think I said the seventh before, but I ended up getting a, a new job even after that, one that I like a little bit better, and I'm starting that on the 10th. With that, I'm actually gonna still be able to do my normal videos. I'm gonna have to change up the days as you've seen recently, but my goal is to still get three a week. So I'm hoping to still get three a week. And there's other stuff I have going on the horizon here that I'll talk a little bit about as well. I've been really trying to figure out what I want to do with this, the channel and everything else. So first, let's go ahead and start the first pass and I will uh, keep talking from there. Give me just a second. I like doing the first pass. Okay, honestly, uh, right off the bat, I can tell you number three is still pretty mild. I'm gonna do the whole thing on three because I think I can get a, with three passes, I can probably do a decent shave. 
but I'm gonna have to dial up to a four next time I use it, I think. So anyway, my goal for Dave Shaves is to do more with it than just a YouTube channel. I've realized that my passion is wet shaving. It's more of a passion than I've ever had for anything. So I really want to see what I can do with that. And a lot of my friends have signed on and they watch these videos because they really get a kick out of me doing it and they learn a lot. So that's kind of my goal is to help people learn about what wet shaving is. And I want to do that in very fun ways. Obviously, I'm going to keep doing the review videos, keep doing the fun shaving with videos, things like that. I also want to branch out into more educational videos, such as the different types of razors, different types of brushes, blades, etc., as well as how to's, how to wet shave, how to wet shave on a budget, how to, how to do all of it for anybody that wants to get into it. So give me just a second. All right. First pass, definitely going to have to go up to a four next time. I'm gonna finish the whole shave with a three just to see how it does, but I'm definitely gonna have to go up with a four. All right, let's go ahead and reapply the lather, going for pass two. All right, so as I was saying, with all that, in order to do all that, I, my goal is to branch out into just, into uh, more than just videos. I'm going to do that by eventually, hopefully soon, getting a website up and running which will include blogs and stuff like that to go along with these videos. And then my goal, something I'm considering as well, is doing group events like group chats, like seminars for lack of a better word. Start with Zoom seminars or other such digital ability seminars um, because of COVID, things like that. But eventually my goal would be to have them in person. And these seminars will just be teaching people how to shave, teaching people about wet shaving, and how to get into it and how I got into it. So that's what I'm doing, and I think it's going to work well. I got a couple ideas in mind of exactly how to do that, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos and these ideas that I have. So I think it'll be good. I think it's a nice way to really get something out of what I do here. And like I said, a lot of my friends like learning more about wet shaving. So I think there's really a market for it. And I also like the idea of throwing in, doing some seminars about wet shaving and mental health because a lot of people use this as an escape from stress, anxiety. Depression, etc. So I really want to be able to get to an audience by doing more than just videos. 
So I got one planned in the pipeline, one of these little seminar things. I'm gonna do it in a couple months. I'm gonna plan it thoroughly first, figure out the best platform to use, things like that. And it's just gonna be basic. It's gonna start small. Be basic ideas such as, you know, how I got into wet shaving and what the benefits and perks are of it. Start there and then as it progresses, go into wet shaving as a hobby, wet shaving as a passion, things like that. But that'll be later on down the road. So I want to do a bunch of these different seminars just to help people out. And I really, like I said, I think there's a real market for it. So I think it'll do good. So those are my ideas right now. And I'm very excited about it. Yeah, number three, by the way, I'm in my third pass now. Number three is just, it's a little too light. I really need to go. Oh, that's the problem. I'm not actually on setting three. I'm on setting one. This entire shave, I've been thinking I'm in on setting three. I'm not. I'm on setting one, which is why the shave is very light. I thought it was lighter than it really should be. Smart, David. That's that's just wonderful. I'm sitting here talking to you guys, having a grand old time, not realizing that I am not on the right setting. It's amazing what will happen when you're uh, not paying too close of attention. I mean, honestly, that being the case then, for setting one, it's actually not a bad shave considering how thick my beard usually is. That's funny though, very funny. It's because I took it apart and I put the blade in there and everything else and I wasn't paying close enough attention to how I put it back together. So that's, that's funny, that's funny. But that being said, like I said, knowing that this is now a, a one, not a three, changes my opinion completely of this particular setting. Um, one is actually great. I think three would be perfect because one actually, for a one, it's really good. It's not super close shave, so it's not gonna get you a BBS, but if you have you know sensitive skin, it, one is perfect, it's the way to go. Three passes, it knocked it down decent. So, and boss gods, in my opinion, aren't super aggressive. My problem areas are still a problem, but that's to be expected on a one as it is. Um, And I could probably do an uptick to a two or just turn it over to a three if I really wanted to, but I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it as is. I'm good. It gave me a nice good idea about what to expect from this razor. So that's, that's good. Nice baseline. So there we have it. Those are my ideas for Dave Shaves as well as my review of a Rockwell. Great razor, even on setting one, very well done. Again, ignore what I was saying earlier because I wasn't aware that a three, that it was, that I was on a one, not a three. So that all changes. But that being said, it is a great razor. I definitely recommend it. I cannot wait to try the different settings. Because I tried on one, I'm actually glad I did that because then I can try it on two and I'm actually gonna go up from there each time to find out my real sweet spot. 
So I think that'll work great. My products did well. Always Voskhod is fantastic. My soap lathered fantastic as it always does. Brush was wonderful. And now I'm gonna use the aftershave balm and the splash. And I am very pleased all around. Again, not the smoothest of shaves, but that's because it was a one. So, not a big deal. Good enough. Good enough. And, number, and on the top, it wasn't bad either. On top, it was actually pretty darn close. It's the, the bottom, but that's to be expected. Problem areas. Sometimes I have problem areas in my, sometimes I have problems with my problem areas and I'm more aggressive razor. Just the name of the game. All right, splash on. Some of the splash. Love it, love that scent. Thank you all for watching. If you are watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You like my video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me a comment below. That said, of course, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.